I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. One wants to move through life with elegance and grace, blossoming infrequently, but with exquisite taste and perfect timing, like a rare bloom, a zebra orchid, one wants, but one so seldom gets what one wants does want. No, one gets fucked. Over. One dies at 30, robbed of decades of majesty. Fuck this. Fuck this. I look like a corpse. Corpse Ed. Oh, my queen. You know you've hit rock bottom when even drag is a drag. Are you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my hallucination? I'm not in your hallucination. You're in my dream. You're wearing makeup. So are you. <laughs> but you're a man. Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. The hands and feet give it away. There must be some mistake here. I don't recognize you. You're not... <gasps> are you my... Some sort of imaginary friend? No. Aren't you a little old? For imaginary friends? I have emotional problems. I took too many pills. Why are you wearing makeup? I was in the process of applying my face, trying to make myself feel better. I swiped the new fall colors at the clinic counter at Macy's. You stole these? I was out of cash. It was an emotional emergency. Oh, Joe will be so angry with me. I promised him no more pills. These pills you keep alluding to. Valium. I take Valium. Lots of Valium. And you're dancing as fast as you can. I'm not addicted. I don't believe in addiction and I never... Well, I never drink and I never take drugs. Oh, I'll smell you, Nancy Drew. Except Valium. Except Valium. And we fistfuls. Oh, it's terrible. Mormons are not supposed to be addicted to anything. I'm a, I'm a Mormon. I'm homosexual. Oh. In my church, we don't believe in homosexuals. In my church, we don't believe in Mormons. What church do you... Oh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I don't understand this. If I didn't ever see you before, and I don't think I did, then I don't think you should be here in this hallucination because in my experience, the mind, which is where hallucinations come from, shouldn't be able to make up anything that wasn't there to start with, that didn't enter it from experience from the real world. Imagination can't create anything new, can it? It only recycles bits and pieces from the world and reassembles them into visions. Am I making sense right now? Given the circumstances, yes. So, when we think we've escaped the unbearable ordinariness and well, and truthfulness of our lives, it's really only the same old ordinariness and falseness rearranged into the appearance of novelty and truth. Nothing unknown is knowable. Don't you think that's depressing? The limitations of imagination? Yes! It's something you learn after your second theme party. It's all been done before. The world, finite, terribly, terribly, well, this is the most depressing hallucination I've ever had. Apologies, I do try to be amusing. Oh, well, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> I can't expect someone who's really sick to entertain me. How on earth did you know? Oh, that happens. This is the very threshold of revelation sometimes. You can see things. How sick you are. Do you see anything about me? Yes. What? You are amazingly unhappy. Oh, <laughs> big deal. You meet a Valium addict and you figure out she's unhappy. <laughs> that doesn't count, of course. But something else, something surprising. Oh, something surprising. Yes. 
Your husband's a homo. <laughs> Ridiculous. Really? Threshold of revelation. Well, I don't like your revelations. I don't think you intuit well at all. Joe is a very normal man. He... Oh, God. Oh, God. He... Do homos take, like, lots of long walks? Yes, we do. In stretch pants with lavender quaffs, up and down the avenues of Sodom we walk. Doomed. Doomed. I just looked at you and there was... A sort of blue streak of recognition. Yes. Like you knew me incredibly well. Yes. Yes. I have to go now, get back. Something just fell apart. Oh God, I feel so sad. I'm sorry, I would normally say, fuck the truth, but mostly the truth fucks you. I see something else about you. Oh? Deep inside you, there's a part of you, the most inner part, entirely free of disease. I can see that. Is that... That isn't true. Threshold of revelation. Home! People come and go so quickly here. Hey, it's me, it's Whoopi. I'm sitting here, I'm in all my adult clothing and I'm so uncomfortable, but I'm thrilled to be here. And on behalf of Amfar, I want to say thanks for joining us from wherever you happen to be sequestering from. Let me give you a little history to start. During the AIDS epidemic of the 80s and 90s, the world was faced with a virus that caused catastrophic illness. Some people tried to use that illness and that idea that this was happening to spread bigotry and hatred and the government failed massively and disgracefully in its responsibility to promote science and protect public health, which I know must sound eerily familiar. It only goes to show you that some people learn very, very slowly and very, very reluctantly. Anywho, fortunately for us, there are always other people who rise to the occasion. For example, the in the early years of, of the AIDS epidemic, doctors Matilda Krim and Joseph Sonneband, along with artists, activists Michael Callan and Elizabeth Taylor. Oh yes, that Elizabeth Taylor, yeah. She and a whole bunch of dedicated volunteers created uh, uh, the American Foundation for AIDS Research which we know as AMFAR, and it dedicated it to supporting scientific research about the HIV virus and finding a cure. Now, AMFAR has been instrumental to the progress that's been made in HIV treatment and the development of a cure, because unlike some people, AMFAR understands that epidemics and pandemics demand an immediate, unstinting response. And that's why AMFAR has joined the fight against COVID-19. We're working during this new global health crisis to identify the gaps in research efforts and quickly mobilize resources to fill them in. And the artists and technical crew behind tonight's performance of Scenes from Angels in America have donated their time and talent to support AMFAR's fund for COVID-19 research. We hope you'll join us by making a generous donation. Really, that's spelled G-E-N-E-R-O-U-S. That's the word generous. That means giving more than you thought you were prepared to. And it's eight letters, which is great in case you're, you know, doing a, a crossword. Anywho, this is really important and it would be so much appreciated and it's much needed. So here's how you do it. You go to amfar.org slash angels. That's A-M-F-A-R dot 
o r g slash angels. That's all you got to do to give. And once again, thank you and welcome. It was divine. He was one of the great glitter queens. He couldn't be buried like a civilian. Trailing sequins and incense, he came into the world. Trailing sequins and incense, he departed it. And good for him. I thought the twenty professional Sicilian mourners were a bit much. A great queen, big fucking deal. That ludicrous spectacle in there, just a parody of the funeral of someone who really counted. We don't, faggots. Or just a bad dream the real world is having, and the real world's waking up, and he's dead. Lately, sugar, you've gotten very strange. Lighten oh, up already. I apologize. It was only a for God's sake funeral, a cause for fucking celebration. Sorry if I can't join in with the rest of you death junkies gloating about your survival in the face of of his ugly demise. Because unlike you, I have nothing to gloat about. Never mind. And you look like Morticia Adams. Like the wrath of God. Yes. That is the intended effect. My eyes are fucked up. Fucked up how? Everything's closing in weirdness on the periphery. Since when? For three weeks, since the night went. Well, what does the eye doctor say? I haven't been. Oh, for God's sakes, why? I was improving before. Remember my wet dream? The angel. It wasn't a dream. Of course it was. No. I don't think so. I think it really happened. I'm a prophet. Say what? I've been given a prophecy. A book. Not a physical book. Or there was one, but they took it away. But somehow, there is still this book in me. A prophecy. It... It really happened, I'm almost completely sure of it. Oh, stop looking so... You're scaring me. It was after Lewis left me. Every night I'd been having these horrible vivid dreams, and then... Then? And then she arrived. Great Greetings, Greetings prophets. prophets! The great work begins! The messenger! Has arrived. Attend. I. 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 I am the bird of America, the bald eagle, continental principality, blue foster flame candle. I unfold my leaves, bright steel, in salutation, open sharp before you. Prior Walter. Prior Walter. Long descended. Long descended. Well prepared. Well prepared. American prophet, tonight you, you become, become American eye that pierceth dark. American heart, all hot. The true, the true great vocalist, vocalist, the knowing, the knowing eye. eye. Tongue of the land, see your head. Open me, prophets. I, 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 I am the book. Read from the Council of Continental Principalities, met in this time of crisis and confusion. Heaven here reaches down to disaster and in touching you, touches all of Earth with a, a new, new epistle. Heaven is a city much like San Francisco. House upon house depended from hillside, from crest down to dockside. The queen mirroring they. Undulant landscape over which the threat of seismic catastrophe hangs. More beautiful because imperiled. Potent yet dormant. The fault lines of creation.
You are made of mere flesh. I, 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 I am, am made of, of utter flesh. flesh. Utterly dense, hence infinitely desirable. What makes the engine of creation run? Not physics, but ecstatics makes the engine run. Priapsis. Dilation. Engorgement. Flow. The universe of flame with angelic ejaculate. The heavens of thrum. The fiery grass. The feathery joinings of the high orders. Contraction. Infusion. Blood the creation. Holy Estus. Holy Oracles. Amen. And in our heaven, for eons uncountable. Aleph Glyph, from whom all words descend. Potter omnipotence, auto aroused to divine madness through self adoration. He, he dare your would come down to us and set ablaze the whole of us, all, all his, his angels, angels. automorphically entering us and fluxing us until plasma, 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 plasma flows forming proto matter, conflagrating into hot, wet fire, flooding the cosmos, igneous gases enkindling the voids, making life all, all life. O oh, Aleph Glyph, father and lover of angels, he, he, eons uncountable, but, but then, but then he, <coughs> He changed. He grew weary of us, his angels, who cannot imagine, who lack that faculty. Made for his pleasure, we can only adore. Seeking something new, he split the world starkly in two and made you. You, human beings, female, male. In creating you, our father, lover, awakened potential for change in the design, for random event, for, for movement, movement forward. forward. In you, the virus of time began. You think, think and you imagine, migrate, migrate, explore, and when you do, paradise itself shivers and splits each day when you awake. Progress, movement, as though we are only the dream of you. Olive adored, bored with his angels, bewitched by humanity. Unnerved by you, unsettled, outpaced by you, afraid of... Of... Of losing you. He began imitating you, your motion. He began sailing off on voyages. No knowing where. He began to leave us. And with each new quaking, another absence. And with each abandonment, unholy abstinence, nasty chastity, and, and disorganization. disorganization. No automorphic fluxing with father lover while he's away, hence no, no manufacturing of plasma orgasmata. Ergo, proto matter shortfall. Then, 
April 18th, 1906. In that day, he left. He has not returned. We do not know where he has gone. And cast off, bewildered. We wait. Missing. Surely you see towards what we are progressing. The fabric of the sky unravels. Angels hover. Anxious fingers worry the tattered edge. Before the boiling of blood and the searing of skin comes the secret catastrophe. Before life on Earth becomes finally merely impossible, it will for a long time before have become completely unbearable. You have driven him away. You must stop moving. The sick, the open road. Neither mix nor intermarry. Let deep roots grow. Do not mingle. Cease to progress. Seek not to fathom the world and its delicate particle logic. You cannot understand. You can only destroy. You do not advance. You only trample. Hobble yourselves. Stay put. put. There is no Zion save where you are. If you cannot find your heart's desire in your own backyard, you never never lost lost it it to begin with. Turn back. Under. Till he returns again. You know me, Prophet. Your battered heart. Leaving life into the universe of wounds. Of wounds. In, in you, on you, in, you, in, in your, in your life. Life. We write, have written stasis. The, the end. end. Uh Uh-huh. I... But what do you want me to say? It's nuts. It's worse than nuts. Don't migrate? Don't mingle? That's kind of malevolent, isn't it? Because, you know, some of us didn't exactly I hardly think it's appropriate for you to get offended. I didn't invent this shit. It was visited on me. But it is offensive, or at least monumentally confused, (laughs) visited. Prior, by who? Something else. That's crazy. Then I'm crazy. No, you're- Then it was an angel. It was not an- Then I'm crazy. The whole world is, why not me? It's 1986 and there's a plague. Friends younger than me are dead and I'm only 30. And every goddamn morning I wake up and I think Lewis is next to me in the bed and it takes me long minutes to remember. This is real. It isn't just an impossible, terrible dream. So maybe, yes, I'm flipping out. Stop. This is not dementia and this is not real. This is just you, prior, afraid of what's coming, afraid of time. But see, that's just not how it goes. The world doesn't spin backwards. Listen to the world, to how fast it goes. It's New York traffic, baby. The sound of energy, the sound of time. Even if you're hurting, you can't go back. You better fucking not flip out. There is no angel. You hear me? For me? Whisper into the ear of the world, prophet. I can handle anything. Wash up red in the tide of but not this happening to you. and billow bloody words into the sky of sleep. I'm so 
sorry, baby. I, I've tried, really. But I can't. It follows me. It won't let me go. So maybe I'm a prophet. Not me. Alone. All of us. The, the, the ones who are dying now. Maybe the virus is the prophecy. Be still. Maybe the world has driven God from heaven because, because I do believe that, that over and over I've seen the end of things. And having seen, I'm going blind as prophets do, right? It makes a certain sense to me. For this age of anime, a <sighs> new law. Oh God, how I hate heaven, but I've got no resistance left. Delivered this night, this silent night, from heaven, O prophet, to you. Except to run. Hi, I'm Alan Cumming, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about how connected Amfar's Fund for COVID-19 Research is to its mission to combat HIV. The only precedent for the massive global research effort currently underway to develop treatments and hopefully a vaccine for COVID-19 is the decades-long struggle to end AIDS. For 35 years, Amfar has been a leader in infectious disease research, and many of the HIV scientists AMFAR funds are now focused on COVID-19. With the fund for COVID-19 research, AMFAR is already supporting studies of COVID antibody responses and COVID-associated kidney disease. Its primary commitment remains HIV research, but in important ways, these two fights against COVID and HIV are one. We plan to fund investigations into whether people living with HIV are more susceptible to the coronavirus, how COVID-19 affects people with HIV, and what coronavirus recovery may illuminate about the search for a cure for HIV. AMFA has learned from the AIDS epidemic that defeating a virus means not only supporting science, but also addressing racism and social and economic inequality because people who are discriminated against and marginalized are likely to be far more vulnerable and have far fewer resources with which to cope with biological calamities. Amphi released one of the first studies exposing the disproportionate impact COVID-19 is having on black communities in the United States, as well as a study showing that factors linked to structural racism put Latino communities at high risk of COVID-19. AMFAR's data dashboard has been named as one of five national dashboards with the most trustworthy information for journalists reporting on COVID-19 and race. If you can, please join AMFAR in funding science and demanding policy that promotes public health. Here's how you can give. Go to www.amfar.org slash angels. That's amfar.org forward slash angels. Thank you. Time to take your pills. Oh. What time is Water. Anything. Nothing that comes from there. As far as I'm concerned, you could take all that away. Oh. What? The boogeyman is here. Look at Ma. It's a Schwartz, a Teuton man. Come in, sweetheart. What took you so long? You're flying, Roy. They put morphine in the drip to stop the... 
you awake? Can you see who I am? Oh, yeah. You took my mama away years ago. You wrap your arms around me now. Squeeze the bloody life from me. Okay? Uh, no. It's not okay. You're stoned, Roy. Dark, strong arms. Take me like that. Deep and sincere, but not too rough. Just Open me up to the end of me. Who am I, Roy? The Negro night nurse. My negation. You've come to escort me to the underworld. Come on. Do you want me in your bed, Roy? You, you want me to take you away? I'm ready. I'll be coming for you soon. Everything I want is in the end of you. Let me ask you something, sir. Sir? What is it like? After? After? This misery ends. Hell or heaven? Jesus Christ, who has time for these games? <sighs> like San Francisco. A city. Good. I was worried. It'd be a garden. I hate that shit. Mmm. A big city. Overgrown with weeds but flowering weeds. On every corner, a wrecking crew and something new and crooked going up catty corner to that. Windows missing in every edifice like uh, broken teeth, the fierce gusts of gritty wind and a gray high sky full of ravens. Isaiah. Prophet birds, Roy. Piles of trash, but lapidary, like rubies and obsidian and diamond-colored cow spit streamers in the wind and voting booths. <laughs> and a dragon atop a golden Board. And everyone in Balenciaga gowns with red corsages and big dance palaces full of music and lights and racial impurity and gender confusion. <laughs> and all the deities are Creole, mulatto, brown as the mouths of rivers. Race, taste, and history finally overcome. <laughs> and you ain't there. <laughs> and heaven. Oh, that was heaven, Roy. The fuck it was. Who are you? Your negation. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know you. Nothing. A stomach rumble that wakes you in the night. Been nice talking to you. Go to sleep now, baby. I'm just the shadow on your grave.
night flight to San Francisco. Chase the moon across America. Oh, God, it's been years since I was on a plane. When we hit 35,000 feet, We'll have reached the tropopause, the great belt of calm air. <laughs> as close as I'll ever get to the ozone. I dreamed we were there. The plane leapt to tropopause, the safe air, and attained the outer rim, the ozone. And it was ragged and torn. Patches of it, threadbare as old cheesecloth, and that was frightening. But I saw something only I could see because of my astonishing ability to see such things. Souls were rising from the earth far below souls of the dead, of people who had perished from famine, from war, from the plague. And they floated up like skydivers in reverse, limbs all akimbo, wheeling and turning, and the souls of these departed clasped hands, grasped ankles, and formed a web, a great net of souls. And these souls were three atom oxygen molecules, the stuff of ozone. <laughs> and the outer rim absorbed them and was repaired. Nothing is lost forever. In this world, there is a kind of painful progress. Longing for what we've left behind and dreaming ahead. At least I think that's so. Hi, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal. Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope that you've had a good time. We're always on the threshold of real revelation. And the great work before us is to do what's needed to cross over that threshold into real, meaningful understanding and action. That's what progress is. AMFAR remains dedicated to expanding human knowledge for the protection and preservation of life itself. All the heroes who work at AMFAR are asking you, if you can, to donate and please support AMFAR's fund for COVID-19 research. Here's how you can donate. You just go to www.amfar.org slash angels. That's www.amfar.org slash angels. Thanks again for joining us, good people. Thank you for listening, and as always, stay safe. And now, the epilogue from Angels in America. <laughs> the Berlin Wall has fallen. The Ceausescus are out. He's, he's building democratic socialism, the, the new internationalism. Gorbachev is the greatest political thinker since Lenin. I don't think we know enough yet to start canonizing him. The Russians hate his guts. Yeah, but remember back four years ago, the, the whole time we were feeling everything everywhere was stuck while in Russia? Look, perestroika, the thaw. It's the end of the Cold War. The whole world is changing overnight. I wonder what'll happen now in places like Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Let's just 
turn the volume down on this, okay? Uh, they'll be at it for hours, and it's not that what they're saying isn't important. It's just... <sighs> this is my favorite place in New York City. No, the whole universe. The parts of it I've seen. On a day like today, a sunny winter's day, warm and cold at once. The sky's a little hazy, so the sunlight gives a physical presence, you know, a character. In autumn, those trees across the lake, they are yellow, and the sun strikes those most brilliantly. Ugh. Against the blue, the sky, that sad fall blue, those trees are more light than vegetation. They are Yankee trees. New England transplants. They are barren now. It's January 1990. I have been living with AIDS for five years. That's six whole months longer than I lived with Lewis. Whatever comes, what you have to admire in Gorbachev, in the Russians, is they're making a leap into the unknown. You can't wait around for a theory. The sprawl of life, the weird... Interconnectedness. Yes. Maybe the sheer size of the terrain. It is all too much to be encompassed by a single theory now. The world is faster than the mind. <laughs> and that's what politics is. The world moving ahead. And only in politics does the miraculous occur. But that's a theory. You can't live in the world without an idea of the world, but it's the living that makes the ideas. You can't wait for a theory, but you have to have a theory. Go no, as my grandma would say. This angel, she's my favorite angel. I like them best with their statuary. <laughs> they commemorate death, but suggest a world without dying. They are made of the heaviest things on earth, stone and iron. They weigh tons, but they are winged. They are engines and instruments of flight. This is the Angel Bethesda. Lewis will tell you her story. Oh, um, well, she was this angel, and she landed in the Temple Square in Jerusalem in the days of the Second Temple. Right in the middle of a working day, she descended, and just her foot touched earth. And where it did, a fountain shot up from the ground. When the Romans destroyed the temple, the fountain of Bethesda ran dry. And Belize will tell you about the nature of the fountain before its flowing stopped. If anyone who is suffering in the body or the spirit walked through the waters of the fountain of Bethesda, they would be healed, washed clean of pain. They know this because I've told them many times. Hannah here told it to me. She also told me this. When the millennium comes. Not the year 2000, but the capital M. Millennium. Right. The fountain of Bethesda will flow again. And I told him I would personally take him there to bathe. We will all bathe ourselves clean. Not literally in Jerusalem. I mean, we don't want this to have sort of Zionist implications. Right on. But on the other hand, we do recognize the right of the state of Israel to exist. But the West Bank should be a homeland for the Palestinians. And the Golan Heights should Not be... Not both the West Bank and the Golan Heights. I, I mean... No one supports Palestinian rights more than I do. Oh, yeah, right, Lewis. Like, not even the Palestinians are more devoted. I'm almost done. The fountain's not flowing now. They turn it off in the winter, ice in the pipes. But in the summer, it is a sight to see. Oh. I want to be around to see it. I plan to be. I hope to be. This disease will be the this end of many of us, but not nearly all. But not nearly all. And the dead will be commemorated and, will, be and will struggle on will with, struggle the living. with the living. We are not going away. We are not going away. We will not die secret deaths die secret anymore. Deaths anymore. The world only spins for us. We, 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 we will be citizens. We will be citizens. We will be citizens. The time has come. The time has come. The time has come. Bye now. Bye now. You are. Fabulous creature.
You are fabulous. Each and every one. Each and every one. And I bless you. 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 More life. 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 The great work begins.